why do we suffer from bowel problems? Well, again, I hate to keep reiterating this, but it's really a, a stress situation. So it can be, again, mental, emotional, physical, structural, environmental. It could be infections. It could be food intolerances and allergies, which cause infl inflammation in the intestines. It could be medications. It could be a back injury, a lack of oil, lack of fiber, or too much fiber, too much of the wrong types of fiber. It could be lack of enzymes. Uh, and this is kind of interesting because once uh, we're born with a certain amount of enzymes in our, in our system, coming from the spleen and the pancreas. Under stress, we use a lot of those enzymes up. So therefore, we have a harder time breaking down the food. So some of us might need actual uh, enzymes when we're eating food. It can be uh, dehydration. It could be drinking too much coffee, uh, too much tea. Uh, a note about caffeine, I have a lot of people that say, oh, well, caffeine really helps me. I drink a cup of coffee and I go to the bathroom right away. Well, another way of looking at it is it may be irritating the lining, and that's why you're going to the bathroom, but it also has the ability to dehydrate. So if you're drinking some coffee, you need to make it up with uh, probably twice as much water. And I don't really think we're getting enough good water either. So alcohol also would do that. Alcohol is very dehydrating, not to mention the gluten connection with the alcohol. Uh, soft drinks. Uh, also, good stress. People sometimes love stress. You have those workaholics that like to work 80 hours a week, and uh, they love it, but they're not sleeping, and uh, it can really cause a constipation problem. Truck drivers, again, they sit too much, so it's, it's uh, sometimes a lack of exercise, uh, not breathing deep enough. So all of these can actually contribute to a constipation or diarrhea or, or irritable, bowel, irritable bowel syndrome. Now, really, what is constipation? Boy, I've heard so many interesting things about constipation. I've actually had uh, clients come to me and tell me that their doctor said that they don't have constipation and they go once a week and that's normal for them. Well, let me ask you, how would you feel if you went once a week? Uh, wouldn't you think the intestinal, uh, your, your colon would be kind of full of, of food unless you're not eating at all? Uh, this can create gas and bloat and distension. Uh, again, that's kind of the garbage can of our system. And in order to have, I think, a very healthy constitution and healthy health <laughs> is to have regular bowel movements. So what I tell people is this. If you're having three meals a day, you should be going to the bathroom three times a day. Your stool should be 12 to, 12 to 17 inches in length, 2 inches in diameter, a medium brown. It should be fluffy, look like bananas. Now, this is what I consider to be ideal and hopefully normal. And I, I really feel strongly that this... This one issue is probably one of the root causes of, of certain illnesses, and they may even find that it has a, a very strong connection to colon cancer. Uh, also, there, there could also be some uh, genome types or hereditary issues with that as well. But uh, having good bowel movements just, I think, make you feel better. Now, diarrhea. Diarrhea basically is when somebody uh, has an irritation and, and they lose electrolytes and they're going to the bathroom with very watery stools, sometimes 14 times a day. Now, that is a problem because that really can kill you. So, I generally find that with the constipation, the diarrhea issues, there are infections to consider when, when people are going through this. So, uh, what can we do to improve the bowel movements? Well, this is things that you can do at home. Uh, first of all, you can start drinking more water. Uh, again, if th those people that uh, if the doctor says don't do, do the things that I'm going to suggest to do, then don't do them. But uh, fluid is very important. And things that dehydrate, again, would be coffee or tea, uh, medications, alcohol. These things sometimes have a drying effect. High blood pressure medications are one that really uh, use up a lot of water. Sugar will also, is also another dehydrator. Uh, Chewing your food is very important. Chewing it 30 times before you swallow. Very, very important. Uh, also, um, to uh, increase your, your fiber like fruits and vegetables. Uh, sometimes people have a problem with other types of fiber and fiber products that they might buy at health food stores. Sometimes it's because they're just not drinking enough water. Uh, a note about water. 
uh, please drink good water, not tap water. Drink water, maybe perhaps reverse osmosis, with the thought in mind uh, to add minerals to it. It's my opinion that the people that drink too much of the reverse osmosis and they're not getting enough minerals, the water, I don't think it's absorbed. So a very important note uh, to all of you that are drinking water and noticing you're still dehydrated. Uh, a symptom of dehydration could be your mouth is dry. Uh, and again, constipation would be another one. And did you know, this is really gross and disgusting, but did you know when you are dehydrated, the first place the body goes to for water is the intestines? So what it will do is it sponges up whatever fluid is in there, and it may be even sponging up some toxic material, and so you keep basically dirtying up your system and, and becoming more of a toxic waste site. Uh, you need water to keep your heart, your brain, your lungs alive and healthy. So I would say also exercise. Exercise is very important to stimulate uh, the, intestine, the intestine so that the peristalsis, which is the action the colon makes, uh, get it moving so that you have better bowel movements. But you know what I would say the big thing, the big thing I want you to do is relax and enjoy your life. Breathe. Breathing is another one that's so important because if you're not breathing, again, the peristalsis, the action the colon makes to get rid of the stuff, it's not being stimulated enough. So really enjoy, breathe, eat good. Eat good food and drink your water.